Flow Latin 3, on to the pursuit. Uh, now it gets exciting. Uh, once these things were carried out, um, everyone uh, again uh, climbed back aboard the ship uh, without delay. And once the anchors were raised, uh, they set sail at first watch. Now, first watch is uh, during the dark, okay? So it's the first point. Uh, it's a, like a two to four hour shift after the sun sets. Um, four, uh, they decided that it was not safe enough uh, for them uh, to remain in that place. Uh, but King Aetes, who already before had, uh, had in mind to bring, or who, who already had in mind, uh, or who had been, there's a couple ways to do this. So they had in mind uh, against them, he had in mind against them in Nimico. Uh, so you could use that to describe the mind, or you could use that to describe the means that he was bringing against them, and then bringing... Um, bringing something against them would be implied. So I'm going to take Inimico as modifying Animo, though. So who already before um, had a hostile mind against them. Uh, when he realized that his daughter uh, not only had uh, taken herself away uh, toward the Argonauts, had not already joined the Argonauts, but even had uh, brought help uh, to carry away or to steal the fleece, um, he blazed uh, with uh, this greatest anger. Um, he ordered a long ship uh, to be launched as quickly as possible. Now, a long ship is also a battleship, and a battleship uh, would be quicker than the Argo for a couple reasons. One, a long ship is not wide, okay? A wide ship is gonna cut through the ocean a lot slower. Um, also, if it's a battleship, it's at least two to four uh, rows of oars going into the water and all of that going at once. That's going to go a lot faster because you have all those slaves uh, as opposed to just one row of heroes. Okay, So a long ship is going to be way faster. Okay? Um, and once uh, soldiers were, uh, were positioned aboard it or were stationed aboard it, um, uh, they, they, uh, he followed the fleeing ones, um, or he gave chase to the fleeing ones. The Argonauts, who knew very well that their situation was in crisis, uh, with all their strength, they strained at the oars. Uh, however, when the ship uh, on which they were being carried, uh, or I'm sorry, not when, because, because the ship on which they were being carried uh, was of huge size, um, they, not, uh, they did not, uh, they were not able to continue forward at the same pace as the Colchidans. Okay, the Colchi, Colchidians, Colchidans, they, they all work for me. Okay, uh, once, the, uh, once this was done, uh, or because it was done this way, um, because this was so, it's another Quaikumita essence, quite frankly. Um, but it's quo factum est. Uh, so because it was done in this way, uh, or yeah, uh, that there was uh, barely any space, uh, indeed, uh, or, or minimum abeset, uh, there was hardly any time, indeed, away from which uh, the Colchidans, or they would be captured by the following Colchidans. So in other words, they were going to be captured soon. Um, four, uh, there was no longer uh, a, enough space between them uh, through which a, uh, into which a, a spear could be hurled. So what we're saying is that they're less than a spear's throw away. That's how close they are. And you can't really ch throw a spear that particularly far. I mean, we're talking 20 yards uh, with any accuracy. So they're 20 paces away. Um, but Medea, when she saw in what place uh, her situation was in, and I keep using the word situation because I don't have a better word for why he keeps using race. Um, her escape, I guess you could say, probably, because you could just replace the thing with the thing. Um, with almost all hope let down, uh, she seized upon this uh, nefarious plan. Uh, so, real cliffhanger there. 
uh, fearful expedient coming. Um, it, it's, it's about to get real choppy in here. And I'm going to push the button. 